H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Okay, so we will take that uh, devices later. Close this one. Now, if you see here, launch mobile device is nothing but what they will do is they will be showing you all the available devices in the cloud. Whichever the device you want, you can simply take the device and then uh, start testing it. Now you can see here, you, got, you are having a lot of options here. You can see that you are having a lot of options. Lot of options. Like what you can do is you can record it. That means that means right say for example if you want to test your application. If you want to test your application and while testing, I want to record my application so that I can use this uh, recorded uh, I can use this recorded uh, application in future or I wanted to share this uh, recorded application with my management whatever it is whatever the reason so if you want to record your application you can record that application in mobile in mobile I'm talking everything and say for example if you want to install that application if you want to install that application you can install the application by using this uh, Right? We will install this application by using this install icon. And also you remember uh, you are having your uh, interruption testing. Interruption testing also can be done with this uh, real devices. Interruption testing is nothing but you are testing the application by interrupting in different forms. Like it can be call, SMS, whatever may be the reasons, right? So here, what is our testing? You can do your function testing. With this devices, you can do your functional testing, you can do your UA testing, you can do your interruption testing. You can do all the testing, whatever you can do with your real devices. Everything can be done with your uh, perfect devices also. Okay, you can do, you can install the application and then you can, uh, you can call, you can call SMS, which is nothing but your interruption testing. You can do your interruption testing also. And also one more thing. Now say for example, I'm testing my application. When I'm testing my application, when I'm testing my application, I wanted to uh, take the log files. Even you can also take your uh, log files. Okay. So even right now, we can also take your uh, log files for this mobile device also. Everything you can do, whatever you will do, whatever you will do with your uh, regular uh, real device everything can be done with this uh, perfect device also only point is instead of instead of uh, carrying that real device what you are doing is you are taking the real device from this guy from this uh, tool with this tool you are having lot of advantages no need to carry the device and say for example you are sitting on one place i'm sitting in one place and both are working with the same application this kind of situation what I can do I can use this tool so that what I will do is say for example I am coming to the office morning I mean your, your night time I can use the device and you will be coming to the office in the my night time so that you can use the same device so that you can save a lot of time and efforts same device can be shared across the team members you got it so this is there is no installation Ruchi. So there is no absolutely no installation. Just open this uh, uh, what do you call link. Just I open that it's a URL only. There is no installation. Just open that link and use your uh, login details. Once you log in successfully, you can see here. Here I logged in with Anwar credentials. As I said, this is only for two hours, but you can use maximum seven days. That means. <coughs> You can utilize this two hours within seven days. That means every day I will use 15 minutes, 15 minutes. Like that I can use up to two hours. 
maximum is two hours. They will not allow because it's a trial version. You can see here. This is my. This is Anwar's. I used Anwar uh, account. If you go here, see you can see that twenty twenty nine minutes already I used. Oh, oh. okay. I'm having only one more hour. Okay. So as I said, maximum two hours they will give you this trial. Okay, and then after that it will be expired. If you want to use it, then you have to pay per device. Whichever the device you want, you can now pay per device. I want this iPhone six plus for my testing purpose, and I want for ten hours, whatever hourly basis and per device. Okay, just to say you are a lonely Ruchi. Now same thing like. I want to test my application. If you are testing your application, say for example, I want to take uh, screenshots, log files, like how we did with the real device or emulator. Everything can be done here. Now, if you go here, let me launch one of the. Let me launch. Let me take which device you want. Tell me which device you want. But. If it's a trial version, you may not have all the devices. You tell me which device you want. We will search for it. If it is available, we will take the device. Which device we want? We will take Samsung HTC. Search with Samsung HTC. Yeah, here you can see that uh, Galaxy Nexus. I'm taking this Galaxy Nexus. Select this. And reserve. Reserve is nothing but now. Say for example, uh, see it's a cloud, right? So many people are connecting to this device, this tool, and then they will be using the same devices. So what you can do is you can reserve it. Reserve is nothing but now I wanted to use this tool. I wanted to use this device for so and so time. That means you are reserving that. You are reserving saying that start time so and so, end time is so and so, so that. This device is not appearing for any other team members, so it is uh, it is reserving for you. If you want, you can reserve for it. You can reserve for it. Okay. Now, when I say that launch, launch. See now, what I am doing is I am taking my Samsung HTC. Where is my Samsung HTC? I am taking the Samsung uh, this one, Galaxy. Open it. So this is absolutely real device. The only thing is based on your internet connection. If your connection is too good, then uh, you will get a real feel that you are working with your real device. But if your internet connection is slow. Then you will feel that okay, your device is very slow. Is that someone is using? Okay. See, this is the absolutely real device. If you see this, this is your absolutely real device. This is your Google Nexus. Now, if I say, how can you say that it's a real device and all, right? See, now if you go here, it will be having your uh, um, Play Store, right? If it is having Play Store, you can say that it is a real device. Or if you want, if you have doubt, you can call to this number. If you anyone wants, you can give it a call to this number. If anyone is having doubt that whether it's a real device or not, they give the uh, phone number also. You can give it a try here. You can call to this number. Okay. 
anyone is calling to this number just give it a call you will get this call number here okay so this is absolutely real device and then they are also giving you that uh, number for your number here you can uh, start testing this application so now when i want to test this application first what i should know i should know that how to install my application here See, whether it is an Android device, whether it is an iOS device, the processor is absolutely same. The processor will never change. Okay. The processor will never change here. So now what I will do, I will be installing that application here. So if I want to install the application, first get your application. If it is uh, Android, get your .apk file. If it is uh, iOS then get your dot IPFI okay now let me try to install the application you can see that these are all the options you can use whichever the option you want just use this option use your uh, device and uh, use your uh, options in your right hand side that's it testing made very simple that is the reason nowadays many people are going with this uh, perfect tool even what you can do is you can maintain your uh, test cases also inside the tool that is also possible. I will also talk about that in the next session. Click on install. Say now you are trying to install that application. They clearly mention if it is Android, please use your .apk file. If it is uh, IPA, that is nothing but your iPhone. Okay. Uh, I am not getting your question, Ruchi. Can you show us using any option? What is that? Any option in sense? Click on next. Click on next. Now what you can do is you can get your .apk file. See here, I am trying to install my application in this mobile, in this Android mobile. So what you can do is whichever application you are planning to test, get it. Click on browse. So my APK is available. Yeah Ruchi, whatever the options you are using very frequently, I will cover all the options in your left hand side. Okay. Now I will be use, I will be installing my application APK. Where is my application H2K Infosys? We will install H2K app dot APK. Open. So your uh, application will install in your real device. Then you can start testing it. Click on run. So your application is installing. Once your installation is successful. Then you can go back to your real device and you can cross check that whether the device is installed or not. So it's installed. Okay. Go here. Where is my... Where is my H2K application? Here, you can see that H2K app, H2K app, you can see that, okay, you want me to show one more time how to install the application, no problem. You can see right here you are having so many options and in these options whichever is uh, important and whichever we use very frequently, I will show all the options, I will uh, talk about all the options whichever we require very frequently. Very first thing is installing the application. Without installing the application, then what you will do? How can you proceed that? Installing the application is very important for me. So what I will do is click on install. Okay, you are trying to install the application. Okay. So if you are if you are installing that application in your Android, iOS, doesn't matter. Whichever the device you are trying to install, the processor is same. Click on next. Click on browse. Now I am trying to install one of the application, one more application. Earlier I installed HTK Infosys. Now I am installing one more application, Airy Bank. Oh, it's already available, it seems. That's why it's available or what? 
no it's not available click on next and run once you click on now uh, run then what it will do is this application is installing here here it will be available here where is that where is that now this where is your Mary bank Mary bank Where is that? <laughs> Where is that? It is not sure. here. You can see that Eddy Bank. So once the application is available in your device, this is absolutely real device and what you can do is you can start testing your application with your uh, test cases. And as I said, what you can do is you can also maintain your test cases here itself. You can maintain your test cases. Or else what you can do is you can have your test case in your Excel like so, as usual. And then you can start testing your application. The same, like right, if you want to know that the device details, what you can do is you can go to your uh, settings. Where is my settings? This device, this device is a black, black color, so it is not proper. Where is my settings? Go to settings. You can see that what is this device and all. Go same process. developer options I'm sorry why developer options go back go to about phone see this is your uh, galaxy nexus and this is 4.2.2 yes I will tell you that uh, where you can maintain your test cases Ruchi I will tell you that okay like this so this is your uh, about phone and all. okay fine so I installed the application, now I wanted to execute my test cases. If you want to maintain your test cases, you can maintain your test cases under your repository. See, there are, there is two ways. Usually what we will do is, as a tester, I will always maintain my test case in the Excel document itself. However, if you, if you want to maintain your test cases with the tool itself, and this is the tool I am using for my mobile application testing process, and if you are using this tool, then what you can do is you can also maintain your test cases in this particular uh, document if you want to maintain. If you want to maintain, you can directly maintain here. Else what you can do is you can have your test case in your Excel and then use it. So I, I will talk about that like right how to get your test cases here and then I will talk about that. I will talk about that. Okay, let me complete this one. So this is your uh, device. Once your uh, application is ready, let me open that application. Then normal process. Start testing your application. Normal uh, testing process. Now I want to test my application. Let me test this application. And uh, normal process as usual. Yeah, next session also I will spend time on this and then I will close this one. So I am entering my username and password. Make a payment. So this is what I want to test it. Just I'm trying to 
test this scenario. Now our app is crashing. See, I'm trying to send a payment with that all the invalid details. Whenever I'm trying to send that, uh, uh, I'm trying to make a payment with the, all the invalid details, then my application is crashing, which is nothing but my application is closing. Now this kind of situation, I will say that this is a defect and uh, I wanted to say that uh, this is a defect and this is your log files and this is your screenshots. Because if you are sharing that log files, then only your uh, developer can understand that what is the root cause of that issue. What is the exact root cause? Otherwise, it is very difficult to understand. So if you want to take your logs and all, here the right hand side you can see, right? This is your screenshot. When you click on your screenshot, see, it will be capturing. It will be capturing. Now if you want to save to your local machine or if you want to save to your uh, same uh, repository is nothing but this place. If you want to save to your local repository or if you want to save to your repository or if you want to save to your local machine, absolutely fine. Okay, fine. 